Hi everyone, so what I thought I would do today, just a quick video on LogSeq and the processes that I use when I use the tool every day, just to take notes. So when you first start up each day you get the daily journal page and I find this is a great place to start off with because you can just get everything that's on your mind out of your mind and you can have it there, you can see it and it's also a great place to then just branch off to different things and different areas of the day. So what I'll typically start off with on each morning is just some morning reflections, for example. Well, I'll maybe put uh, how I slept during the night, um, maybe what I am grateful for. Uh, maybe some other ideas and thoughts which came to me, um, and really anything else that I just want to get out, out of my mind in the morning and just reflect on my morning and overnight. Then what I'll typically do is just have a look at what I want to do or what I want to achieve today. So I'll maybe put a heading just of today, and from here I'll, I'll put the, not task, but the, the, the aims of today. So things like uh, need to advance uh, such and such project. Um, I want to call, for example, John. Um, finish uh, reading the XYZ book. And anything else that I want to achieve uh, during, during today. So from there, I'll then go through each of these tasks, reflect on them, think what I need to do. At least I can prepare my day. So for example, maybe call John. Um, remember to mention XXX uh, project or whatever it might be, just so that I don't forget. And then what I'll typically do is maybe just have a to-do section as well. So for example, then what I'll do is to-do, um, call John, just so that it comes up as a task. And then maybe to-do, um, read book. Um, and something else. So at least then when I complete them, I can have them nice and ready and take them done. So then what I'll do is I'll go through the day, do these various different things that I set out to achieve, and maybe what I'll do is on this one, on reading the book, I'll just add in some thoughts that I had of the book. So just at least I can have them there, I can reflect on, on the book, reflect on what I read. And then when you get to something like need to advance project X, um, maybe we can have have a team call. So then we can have a team call, and what we'll do is on the Project X page, we can go to that. So this just gives me then a quick reminder of what Project X is. So that then when we have a call, for example, uh, we can do uh, we can do a new page. And what we might do here is maybe then just do a new page, and then this is call with uh, John, Jim, Dave, uh, discussed something, and then uh, next steps would be whatever else that we discussed and, we, and needs to be done. So at least then I can just remember uh, what was discussed on this particular day, if I then go to Project X page, I can then see, okay, well, this is the Project X, uh, these are the, the key people involved, the milestones, etc. And I can see various different status updates. I, I like having them as a separate page. I mean, we could have just done it similar underneath this bullet point and call with um, whoever it was and then what we discussed, but I find that then it gets very messy. So I just find it easier just to have a separate page so that then, if need be, I can go to this page, I can see exactly what was done, who, what was discussed, who was there, 
and it's just a, a different place where I can then expand on here because if not, as I say, I find that this gets, it gets too long and it, it's no longer a reminder of what Project X is and the key milestones and the key steps. It's more just a, a full on page and it's, it loses its benefit to me. So then what we can also then do is then just go back to November the 1st. So we had the call. So then when we want to call John at lunchtime, I can just quickly remember, okay, who's John? Uh, this is John. And then maybe we can add in um, calls with John. And we had the call on the November 1st. Um, and we maybe discussed um, picking up fishing. Picking up. The great thing is about Logseek, it does the autocorrect for you. Um, fishing equipment something along those lines and as it's, it's it's a nice brief note so I don't find that I need to have a whole separate page for it and it's quite useful because at least then on a one page I can quickly see what was discussed the key takeaways I'm not going to put whatever or the whole conversation with with John it's just the key takeaways so then at least I can see what what was done so I can then take call John I can then take read book and I can then take something else and what I might then do in the evening is So some evening reflections, um, whatever I'm feeling in the evening, how my day went, what I'm thinking, what could have improved, what could have I done better, what could have um, things just to reflect on, on tomorrow as well, just to uh, prepare myself for the days ahead. So that's just a typical daily, um, daily process that I use. When I then, let's say I'm reading some, some article or something online, what I might do is I'll put them side by side and for example this is just a quick article 20 things of people learn too late in life so what I might just do is create a new page um, things to for example new page and then um, things to keep in mind and then just go through the article, see what it says. Uh, so for example, most people are scared of using their imagination. So I'll just put that into my own words. Uh, something like that. We'll correct that one. And then maybe for the for a number two. Uh, and then just go through each article uh, and just put put my key takeaways, what I'm thinking of what I've read. Something like that. And then what I might typically do as well is just copy the link. So at least I don't remember, I don't forget where it was from. And what we'll do is link. So then at least it's there. So if I need to refer to it as a separate moment in time, I can always find it. So I hope you found that useful. It was just a quick introduction of how I typically use LogSeq every day. Um, it just helps. I find having the daily notes is a great way just to put everything that's in your mind out there. Um, it just makes your life so much easier. And then from there, branch off to various different things. So I, again, for example, um, if we would have a page for, X, y, for book XYZ, what I might just do is then go to the page and then maybe we'll put thoughts on the book and then just go through and put whatever it is that my thoughts of this book were. So again, at least then when I go to it, when I go to this page, I can quickly go to it and I can find that these were my thoughts and these, because of the backlinking, it does it automatically for you. But at least I can see, okay, on the 1st of November, I had these, this and this thoughts and, and this is what I was thinking. So I hope you found that useful. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thanks very much for watching.